Hi there. So in this video, we are going to see PySide calendar widget. So at the end of this video, you will be able to use this calendar widget within your program. So make sure that you have PySide installed. Open text editor, save one file with name demo.py. Now, the first thing you should do is import this module. Then from PySide, import qt gui and qt core okay now the next thing create one class let's say name example and here you mention qt gui and also point to qt widget or simply q widget okay now here I'm going to create one method that is going to initialize itself okay so simply we are going to use this to start instance and we call for main method okay now use this init method here so when this is called it will execute the code below the next thing call self dot init ui okay now create another method and name it init ui and inside that we are going to call for variable that calls qtgui dot qcalendar widget okay and then points it to self method okay now the next thing is to set grid to visible and make it true then also move that widget to let's say location 2020 and after that use cal dot clicked and here you are basically telling qt core to call for qt date okay so or simply q date okay once that you can connect and call for self dot show date okay now the next thing is self dot label and here we call for qtgui and method q label to point to self and the next thing we are going to check the date part of calendar and selected date make sure that D is capital within selected date the next thing we are going to set the label by typing in self dot lbl dot set text and here we point date dot to string and that should show you the current date when selected then self dot label dot move to let's say point twenty two hundred I'm going to scroll a bit then we have self dot set geometry so with set geometry we specify the coordinates so let's say 100 100 200 200 okay so i'm going to simplify this you can also go for 300 if you want there is nothing specific about that and then Finally, setting the window title. And let's say 
let's say calendar demo or you can say calendar by side okay and then finally self dot show so we are going to show this and then a new method to show date that we called earlier here we accept self and date and we are going to use self dot label dot set text date dot to string and then finally define main and for main method we are going to call app equals to qt gui dot q application and going to pass sys and argwin and also going to call for example method that we just created at the top so that it will be called and then sys.exit if clicked on exit option so this method should be called and finally we are going to use if main or you can say if double underscore main equals to within your single quote we are going to use main and for this we simply use main okay so that is pretty much the code here and we are going to execute now we will see if there are any errors within what we have just written over okay so open command prompt type in python then demo dot py and this should show you this small program with calendar widget you can simply select any particular date and that will show this text below your calendar that we just pointed out right here so whenever our date is selected then cal dot selected date method will run and it sets the text date dot to string and you will find that string displayed here in that label okay also we have calendar by side as our program title we also made the placement to 20 20 and 100 and 300 depending on where we want this widget to be located okay so you can pause the video and go through the code there are some corrections that I made by pausing the video so I hope that you find this video helpful for your PySide programs thank you for watching